Um, yeah, so the lights should be flashing, but they're not. Um, I, I, I can't get in the Gallardo. <sighs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to the vlog. The Gallardo battery is dead, uh, which means I can't open the door, which means I can't pop the boot to access the battery to jumpstart the battery. So, we have a solution, don't worry, don't fret. This little piece right here pops off. I don't wanna break it. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Pew, 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 pew. I've never actually done this before, but... Yes, yes. I already know this isn't gonna work, but for prosperity's sake. She's dead. The battery on the Gallardo is located right here in the boot. We need to jump start it with the Aventador. So cold startup, reverse out, Aventador nose, Gallardo nose, jumper cable, jumper cable, cold startup Gallardo. Yes? Yes. Special shout out to Nick, thanks for letting me borrow the jumper cables. Positive, positive, negative, negative. This is a cold startup on a 2006 Lamborghini Gallardo. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna jump start the Gallardo with the Aventador. To even access the battery on the Aventador, you have to remove the entire trunk liner, which is a whole lot of effort, especially there's a booster pack right, like out of frame. It's right there, so. Scratch that, scratch that. The booster pack's not gonna work because the clamps are too big they don't fit in this little port, so we have these mini jumper cables. Jeep Nation, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the vlog. It's not that we actually need to use the Audi, but when the whole family is working toward a project, well, everyone wants to contribute. It's not that I'm expecting to be electrocuted, but if I am, sort of worst case scenario, I want to make sure that we get it for the vlog, so. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a great sign. Um, um, um. Oh, no! This is take number two. We're gonna let it just charge for a little bit. This battery is like dead, dead, dead. I have a tendency to get a bit impatient. Uh, this is a cold startup. Oh, oh, yes, now we're rolling, now we're rolling. She sounds so good! Yeah, buddy! Yes, 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 yes. No fluid leaks of any kind. Not as good news, we have this warning light on, an A with a circle around it. Electronic Stability Program, ESP, page 28. This button should turn that on and off, and it doesn't, so. We're driving with no stability control, which means if we want to get a little shake and bake, not gonna be a problem. Oh, we just turned off. We're good, it's off. It's off, just like that. We're good. This is gonna sound dumb, I forgot how much fun this car is to drive. And how good it sounds. Oh, it's good to be back. How would you like it if that was your brand new Corvette? Also, check out that Ford Raptor. What is going on? Are those for sale? I am not proud of this statistic. I have not driven the Gallardo since December 22nd. That's eight weeks, eight weeks. The car has no check engine lights. It had a dead battery. That's been remedied. Like, if you have the means, I highly recommend picking up a first-gen Gallardo. I am convinced it is the best entry-level supercar. And if you can pick up a gated manual, 
All the more reason. Huracan Spider right there, we're twinning today. Nice. My apologies, it's very, very cold and very, very windy. We have the Huracan Spider right here. Orange Crew is represented at Makes and Models. I don't know if this is a new car for sale or if it's a customer car, but it's pretty, pretty sick. All right. No way, we have a Ferrari Mondial right here, a two plus two convertible. It's a gated manual. What? You never, ever, ever see these things. All right, makes and models is stacked right now. So guys, this video is going live on Friday. Well, on Saturday, tomorrow, makes and models is having their first cars and coffee. It's here at the makes and models showroom, 808 South Main Street, Salt Lake City, Utah, 84001. Uh, my Aventador, my Gyro is also gonna be here from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So if you live in the beautiful state of Utah and you wanna come see supercars, be sure to be here. We have this six supercharged Huracan. We have the 650 Spy and then check out this turbo right here. That thing is wicked, but today is more focused about this car. The Audi R8 GT, one of 333 in the world. This car is supercharged. We're talking 750 to the crank, and yours truly gets to drive it. So, that's a good day. The R8 GT looks so much better than my R8. You got the matte carbon side blade, you got the matte carbon rear wing, you have the Stasis supercharger inside, you got the matte carbon door seal, you got the Alcantara steering wheel, just over 10,000 miles on this R8 GT. Unfortunately, this R8 GT is Artronic, but it's a numbered car, 272 of 333. That is sick. It's such a weird sensation because I feel like I'm in my R8, but it's supercharged pushing 750, so not the same car at all. <laughs> this is so sick. Theoretically, I could supercharge my R8. Is it worth the cost associated? That's what we're kind of sort of trying to figure out. This car is like night and day difference compared to my R8. It is so much faster, it sounds so much better, yet it feels exactly the same. It's a very weird sensation, but I quite like it. The Alcantara steering wheel. Like if you have the means to get an Alcantara steering wheel, do it, you won't regret it. This is gonna be a mildly routine acceleration. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect with a V10 supercharged Audi R8, but uh, I, I, I like it. This car is insane. Up to 5,000, the GT is fast. Above 5,000, it's like warp speed. <laughs> oh my God. If you've ever watched one of my vlogs, you knew we were coming here, you knew. This is the only tunnel within a 50 mile radius of downtown Salt Lake. So naturally, well anyway. This is a mild acceleration in a supercharged Audi R8. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, oh my gosh. Um, in an awkward sequence in the vlog, we have an iceberg just chilling there in the road. Oh my gosh, this car is insane. It's not that we should, but we're gonna flip around for round two. That was insane. Did you guys see that wheel spin? Round two, my point of view. I came to this parking garage for no reason whatsoever, except to, to rev the GT. We're not gonna rev it very long, because if we do, I'm gonna go to jail, and well, yeah. my Audi R8. I'm wondering, is there a way to turn my R8 into this R8? Wait, did I say, yeah, you know what I mean. One of the problems I've always had with my R8, it's not quite outlandish, it's not outrageous enough. Where is this R8? This R8 sets off car alarms. Okay, we gotta get lost. We, we actually gotta get lost. Welcome to the top of Salt Lake City, Utah. This Audi R8 GT, this thing is sick. Like, I'm wondering, is there a way for me to turn my R8 into a GT. Obviously like the V10 engine swap is not gonna happen, but that supercharger, maybe that could. They only built 333 GT coupes. This one is actually a one-off. It's the only one finished in red in the world. It's an aftermarket paint job from Kendig Design. All the carbon fiber is matte carbon. Whoa, this carbon wing is sick. I need, I need a wing for my R8. You got the custom GT tail lights, and then look at that exhaust. Are you kidding me? And then you got the carbon diffuser too. 
Oh. The man who drives that Land Rover, he is a part of Flex Nation. What? It just picks him up and sets him down. Oh my gosh, warp speed! Go, go, go! Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a dumb comment, 272 of 333. RAGT GT 10,333 miles. Also, kind of sort of some bad news. I left my sticky notes at home, uh, so if the editor wouldn't mind blurring out the speedometer, which is the dial there on the right, well, that'd be appreciated. Oh, whoa, whoa, we're going, we're going, we're going. Don't tell anybody, don't tell me. Hit it! Oh, oh, that is warp speed! Oh my gosh! Wow, wow, wow. I did not mean to yell in your ear like that. This car is just uncontrolled. Well, it is controllably fast. I was gonna say uncontrollably, but I'm, I'm still between the lines. This thing is absurd. Like, supercharged life, I need in my life. It's Gallardo Day here at Makes and Models. Now we're rolling. Make sure I don't hit my own car. That would be awkward sequence in the vlog. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this car is for sale here at Makes and Models for $149,999. We're leaving the Gallardo here for the night. Like I said, Cars and Coffee Saturday, uh, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Gallardo Spider, but we're hopping in the GTI with Josh. He's taking me home. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Have a good one. It's just not, it's not an R8 GT. In the comments below though, should I wrap the R8 purple to match the Aventador? I worked out one time, but really to get into shape, you actually have to work out like continuously. So I'm not actually gonna make you guys watch my workout, uh, but today's video is effectively over. I can't actually end the video though, because I have all these weights, so I gotta set these down, one second. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.